Hey, New Hope family, Pastor August here. Uh, just hanging out outside with the freshly falling snow, listening to the snow plows go by. Oh man, I don't know about you, I love snow, but I hate it when it's covering in my driveway and it's covering my car. But man, I love watching snowstorms come through. I love watching uh, the snowfall. It's just beautiful. It's some of the best times of the year in my opinion are when snow is falling man i just let's check this out look at that landscape right there oh it's just so beautiful love all that freshly falling snow well as i was watching the snowfall this morning uh, i was thinking of storms i was thinking of how sometimes when storms come through man they create havoc they create chaos and uh they just sometimes can really i mean you guys know this when the derecho came through it it tore things apart and it did things that really a lot of people couldn't recover from and we always think of storms as just these terrible things in life and and i remember I remember this story in Mark chapter 4 when Jesus is asleep in the boat and the storm is coming through as the disciples are in the boat crossing the lake and Jesus is asleep in the bottom. And they go to Jesus and they wake him up and they're like, man, aren't, Jesus, what's going on? Are you going to let us die in the middle of this storm? Are you going to let us die out here all by, all by ourselves? And he says, why, why do you have such little faith? Why do you have such little faith? And then he performs a miracle and he calms the storm. You know, he says, peace be still and the winds and the waves, they settle down. And as I got to thinking about that, as I got to praying about that, I'm like, God, what's more important? You calming the storm or you being with us in the middle of the storm? Because to me, I don't know about you, but I think Jesus asked them why they had such little faith because he was there. They were in his presence in the middle of the storm. He was, he was walking through with them and he was in perfect peace. He was chill. He was sleeping. He wasn't, he wasn't worried about anything. He knew that they were going to be okay. He knew that everything was going to be okay. And he knew that his presence with his disciples was far more important than what was going, what was happening around him, what was going on around them. And so today, I just want to encourage you with that. I know that it can be frustrating when a snowstorm comes through and it makes the road slick. It covers our cars with snow and the windshield's all covered in ice. It's, it's windy. It's drifting. It's, it feels like, uh, I don't like that. I don't like storms. It, it just makes everything a little bit chaotic. I want to encourage you that when that's happening in your life, when you feel like you're going through a storm, you feel like you're going through a time where you're all alone, you don't know what's going to happen, you don't know if you're going to make it through the other side, Jesus is with you and he's at peace. While you're in the middle of the storm, while you are experiencing chaos, Jesus is also there and he's at peace and he promises us that he will give us peace in the middle of the storm. I love that. Peace is a promise that Jesus keeps. Peace is a promise that God gives to his people. Matter of fact, one of the names of Jesus is uh, the Prince of Peace. It says that in Isaiah. I think that all of us need to have moments when we're in the middle of a storm to remember that Jesus is with us. He is the Prince of Peace. And if we would just tap into his presence, we would also experience peace in the middle of the storm. So that way we can celebrate how beautiful the world is, how beautiful life is, even in the middle of storms. Love you, friends. We'll see you later.